Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from Byron Burline's Double Stop Fiddle Shop and Music Hall here in Guthrie. This historic shop is back open after a devastating fire. And recently Mr. Burline himself gave us an in-depth look around his new place. Byron Burline, who is a true Oklahoma treasure, says the response from people after the fire was immediate. It's amazing how many people you affect. You don't realize how many people that uh, care ab about what you do, I guess. <laughs> but it was, it, was, it was incredible and it was very heartwarming to, to have that. Things fell into place quickly and he moved into a new building, which was just a block away from his previous location. And while he knew he would be starting over, he simply did not want to quit. This is what I love to do, to trade and deal in instruments and then play music. So I have our own place to play and place to house these instruments again. Everyone loves Byron's new place, but folks also miss the Byron Burline Band performing every other weekend. And now those concerts have returned to sold out audiences in the music hall. It was a new experience for all of us. Byron's place has always been and continues to be one of the coolest places to hang out. And I, I invite everybody to come. I mean, it's a hangout for musicians or anybody who just wants to come in and, and just relax. You don't have to buy anything, just come in and hang out. That's what it's for. Byron's already started collecting violins or fiddles, again, along with guitars and mandolins, and he's still getting used to his new surroundings. See all these violins back here, I have to get acquainted with them again. And these are all new friends. <laughs> so I got to get acquainted to learn their personalities, learn their traits, and learn their everything. They do have their personalities to them. Because I know that some of them are bright, some of them are dark, some of them are mellow. Later, Byron explained that a bit more for me. So each one literally has its own, not only sound, but in a way its yes, own personality. Oh, they do. They all, every, no, no two alike. And uh, they all have different uh, characters, characteristics and sounds, you know, so uh, you just have to find one that people come in and try out a violin, they have to kind of figure out what they like, because everybody's different what they like, you know, sure. pretty much. Sure. It's like speakers, if you like more bass, you like more treble or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's the way people are with, with uh, violins. This is a French fiddle here, and it's really unique the way it's made and the way it's uh, varnished and so on and so forth in Miracore, uh, France, you know. It's kind of an open, fairly a dark. More of a blatant sound. A lot of French has, what I, it sound is very difficult to describe. So, I mean, that's that sound. Here's this one on the second shelf. Now this is a, this is a German instrument. And it, it, it's a pretty warm sound. See the difference in sound there? Yes. And you can hear the sweet musical sounds of Byron and his band every other weekend. Come see the legend Byron Burline and his band perform or simply go to his new double stop fiddle shop to talk music and hang out. Byron Burline's Double Stop Fiddle Shop and Music Hall is located at 211 East Oklahoma in Guthrie. Open most Mondays through Saturdays 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Check out their website for information on live music. And once you take in a little music and a lot of Oklahoma history, it's time to relax a bit. That's right, and our state is full of beautiful lakes where you can get away from it all. Jason Grubbs takes us to Lee's Resort on Grand Lake. These are all brothers, sisters, and cousins. Every two years, Gloria Mamer travels in from Chicago for her family reunion at Lee's Resort on Grand Lake. This is their fifth time out here, and she's not the only out-of-towner from all over, that's right. Two of us from, are from Illinois, one from Kentucky, uh, one from Laramie, Wyoming, and El Paso, Texas. Lee's is centrally located for the family reunion and the perfect size for their big group. Most of us are in, in this cabin because it can sleep just about all of us and it's got a big enough area for all of us to sit down at the table and eat way too much food. <laughs> oh, I love it, it's great, it really is fun. And, you know, they come in with a smile on their face, and, uh, and our job is keep it that way. Yeah. Dick Raines purchased Lee's in 1981 as a lake retreat for his own family. Back then, there was just one cabin out here. The, the guy that built this place in the 60s was uh, Lee Fritz, uh, was a telephone lineman, lived in Joplin and he uh, built this thing in his spare time. Then about 20 years ago, Rain started adding on to the property. Today, his 14 acres has 25 cabins, 
two large conference centers, great for those corporate getaways, a swimming pool, marina, parking for RVs, and more. We have a nice playground and you know, volleyball and tetherball and shuffleboard. Eleven cabins are one bedrooms with kitchens, TVs, fireplaces, and even hot tubs. We have five what we call lodges. Uh, each lodge can sleep up to 14 people. Uh, they have seven queen beds. Lee's Resort can accommodate about 180 people when it's full, and it stays pretty busy. There's even a few full-time residents with a garden club. Now as you walk around, you're going to see some beautiful gardens. Every flower you see, they planted. The volunteer ladies did it. A staircase leads you down to the docks where you can rent pontoons, bass boats, and ski boats. We have all the toys, tubes and skis and wakeboards and, and things for people. And if you forget something at home, there's even a little store with a cafe. All our cabin guests get a nice free hot breakfast. It's um, eggs, sausage, biscuits, hash gravy, browns. hash browns, fruit salad. Cereal. Yeah, cereal, milk, coffee, plenty. tea. Plenty to eat. And plenty of fun. We'll go out on this boat and you know, we'll fish and we'll ride around and swim in the lake and, you know, do that kind of stuff. We taught his grandson how to ski last time he was here. And then we'll come up and go to the pool and then hang out and, you know, catch up with each other. When it's time to go, memories are made. And so are the plans to come back. Yeah, many people, when they leave here at the end of their vacation, they sign up for next year. Some people for two years ahead. At Lee's Resort on Grand Lake, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. Lee's Resort is located on Reed Point at Grand Lake. You'll find them along South 630. Check out their website, leesresort.com, for information on cabin and boat rentals and their fish camp and restaurant. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. They're going to see uh, works of art from every medium that Native Americans produce. We have jewelry, pottery, baskets, paintings. Beautiful works of Native American art. Where to stop if you want to shop for it? If you come to Northeast Oklahoma, you may come for the lake or you may come for some of the casinos, but you can't come to a, another alpaca ranch. And the ranch like no place else you'll visit. OU's got a larger fan base, but OSU fans are very loyal. They they show up loud and proud every week, and uh, we try to make sure we cover both sides of the fence. Plus, the best of both worlds, red and orange, in this Oklahoma-themed shop will show you where it is when Discover Oklahoma continues. Whether you love the day or enjoy the night, this is the land of color and light. Cities stretch out and buildings stand tall. Music and games entertain one and all. TravelOK.com has all this. Come see for yourself or you'll miss what you miss. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you today from Byron Burline's Double Stop Fiddle Shop and Music Hall in historic Guthrie. One of the things I think is very cool here is that the fiddles are arranged almost like works of art. They really are, and when it comes to Native American art, there's no place like Oklahoma that you can find it. Now let's head to Exhibit C in downtown Oklahoma City. This one's operated by Chickasaw Nation. Native American art is known for the traditional aesthetic we've always admired, but at Exhibit C Gallery and Gifts, they've broadened the horizons of what people think of Native American art. They're going to see uh, works of art from every medium that Native Americans produce. We have jewelry, pottery, baskets, paintings, weavings. We've got a little bit of everything. The artwork that we have on display is probably what more people would consider contemporary. It's uh, maybe a little less traditional from what you might expect to see for Native American artwork, but uh, we're very proud of that. Many of the artists you'll see here are Native Oklahomans. But we do have artists from New Mexico, from California, from um, kind of all over the country. At Exhibit C, you'll see Native American art from tribes across the state and country and the vast differences in how these tribes use art and interpret it. The imagery and paintings is usually specific to the tribe of the artist, you know, the regalia that's depicted or um, the events that are maybe being depicted if it's a ceremony or something like that. It's usually particular to that artist and their heritage and their culture. There are some special pieces you'll see only at Exhibit C Gallery and Gifts. 
We've got uh, some really interesting things, um, some kind of larger items that uh, a lot of galleries maybe wouldn't be able to uh, exhibit. Um, first of all, um, one of our most unique things currently is a uh, maquette version of the Guardian sculpture, which is on top of the state capitol. Um, it's great because people can really come in and see the detail in it that you really can't see from a distance on top of the state capitol. Other special items include a painted teepee liner by Harvey Pratt and a painted horse. Along with items always on display, there is a rotating exhibit featuring special pieces. So our current exhibit uh, features the work of Native American veterans. Uh, it's three artists, so they're three disparate uh, artists as far as their, their styles are concerned, but um, they all share that bond of having military service and it's reflected in their artwork. We just rotate our featured exhibits every four months, so they're here for a good amount of time, uh, so you can always see something different. Uh, that's what a lot of people really enjoy about our galleries. Every time they come in, there's something different. You can purchase the art you see, and you can also grab a gift from Exhibit C. And we do have a really great selection of gifts, too. We have a full line of bed ray chocolates. Um, we've got a great selection of books. Pendleton products have been very popular for us. Um, and then we've got little um, coffee mugs and things like that for uh, people who are just kind of coming through Oklahoma and they're looking for a really cool, unique um, gift to take back with them. For a new contemporary perspective on Native American art, plan your trip to Exhibit C Gallery and Gifts. I hope that a lot of people are able to see that uh, Native American art is progressive and it's not what it's often pigeonholed as. And aside from that, I hope they kind of get a little flavor from the fact that um, Native American tribes are different uh, culturally from tribe to tribe and that it's not just one big culture. You'll find Exhibit C at 1 East Sheridan in the Bricktown area of Oklahoma City. They're open 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. There's no doubt our state is known for its Native American ties. And we're also known for football, of mm -hmm. course. And if you're a fan of either of the big college teams, well, Tiffany Tatchell chose as a place that you definitely need to visit. All right, football fans, we found the perfect place for you. Whether you're rooting on OU or cheering for OSU, the Bedlam Zone has you covered. Shirts, jerseys, and accessories. The Bedlam Zone has everything you need for game day. If you're looking for anything involving going to a game or watching it at home on television or decorating your house, we have it. The Edmonds store stays stocked with all things OU and OSU, from top designers like Nike, Tommy Bahama, Antigua, and even items from the Michael Jordan collection. And we're one of the few locally owned places that carries Jordan. Sooner fans will find an entire wall devoted to all things OU. From t-shirts, jerseys, hats, and bags. While Cowboy fans also have a huge selection for all their OSU needs. We carry uh, lots of OSU. We've got all the Cowboy stuff. We carry all the helmets, the jerseys, the the polo shirts, the women's dresses. And when it comes to tailgating, the Bedlam Zone has it all. Tents, pop-up chairs, cups, and koozies. But the store isn't just for OU and OSU fans. They carry the latest in Thunder apparel and accessories. We carry the polos and the basic things for the Thunder. We've got a lot of uh, different t-shirts, and uh, as the winter gets here, we'll have jackets and sweatshirts and things of that. Still, college football is what brings most folks in. Bedlam Zone sees fans from both universities, but sees a little more of one than the other. OU's got a larger fan base, but OSU fans are very loyal. They, they show up loud and proud every week, and uh, we try to make sure we cover both sides of the fence. So whether you're a Cowboy or a Sooner, or maybe even a Thunder fan, Stop into Bedlam Zone for all your game day needs. In Edmond, Tiffany Tatro, Discover Oklahoma. Bedlam Zone is located at 3601 South Broadway in Edmond. They're open seven days a week, 10 to 6 Monday through Friday, 10 to 5 on Saturday, and noon to 4 on Sunday. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. We're in Zena, which is a little unincorporated area here in Delaware County, halfway between Jay, the county seat, 
and Grove to the north. Hidden away in northeastern Oklahoma, a homegrown business you'll want to visit. The food is wonderful. It has kept me coming back here to eat for the for the past 18 years. Dinner worth the drive. See what has folks setting their sights on Ada when Discover Oklahoma continues. Gather around and go for a ride through Oklahoma's all new travel guide. See art, culture, big city venues, blazing neon, flavorful menus. Find a cabin where you can unwind. Grab your travel guide and see what you find. Welcome back to the Double Stop Fiddle Shop and Music Hall in Guthrie, where we're helping to celebrate their comeback after a large fire destroyed this incredible piece of Oklahoma history. As summer winds down, Oklahoma travelers are looking for that one last memory maker. And we've got one. Photojournalist Casey Kennedy is going to take us to check out Zena Surrey Alpacas in Jay, Oklahoma. <laughs> We're in Zena, which is a little unincorporated area here in Delaware County, halfway between Jay, the county seat, and Grove to the north. First of all, if you come to northeast Oklahoma, you may come for the lake, or you may come for some of the casinos, but you can't come to a, another alpaca ranch. We have uh, 45 alpacas on the property, 15 boys on the northern side, 30 girls on the south, if we had the alpacas out in the field, you can walk right up to them. Uh, if it was a cold, rainy day, do we have any days where it rains in Oklahoma? We'd come into the barn and you'd see them right in the barn and we'd probably have the tourists feeding them. <laughs> yes, girls, girls. Alpacas are primarily indigenous to a high, Hello, cold Brandy. Andean climate, climate, specifically Peru, to a lesser extent Bolivia and okay. Ecuador. We already own the land here. So we started slowly buying up somebody's alpaca ranch high up in the Wasatch Mountains, east of Salt Lake City, not far from Park City. We had already owned this property, so we had a natural place to bring the animals. I learned that I can survive in the most, one of the most rural parts of the United States, contrary to my first natural uh, concerns. And I'm often asked, are they going to spit at you? But that's, they usually spit only when they're just ravenously competing with each other to eat grain. They have no upper teeth, alpacas can't bite. They're viewed as a therapy animal. Alpaca fleece turned to product is what they say, hypoallergenic, which means what? It's soft, it's not itchy for 99% of the population. It's smoother and softer than silk. We've got an alpaca store, roughly, oh, I don't know, maybe 100 feet to the north of our barn, where you're gonna find alpaca products that have been turned into uh, socks and yarns and some pretty fine clothing and blankets. I think this is an ideal place to come to purchase something you cannot find in your typical department store. And in fact, we have yarn for almost every animal on this ranch. Everyone here has a name, not a number. And the unique thing about the alpaca fleece is that it wicks away moisture. And so it keeps your feet uh, dry and cooler in the summertime, and it keeps them dry and warmer in the wintertime. I simply put it through here. What's special is touching and feeling the fleece. The softness of the animal is what's unique. We want people to have a comfortable experience, and we like them to sign our guest book, and we proudly bring them to our store. Zena Surrey Alpacas is on 78 acres in Jay, just off Highway 127 and South 58th, not far from Grove. They're open rain or shine. Check out their website for more information on hours or tours. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. Sauce me starting in the morning at this 8 o'clock and cook to 4 o'clock afternoon. Sauce that simmers all day long, and that's not all you'll find at this family restaurant. We'll give you a taste coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. Explore new horizons in your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. Get the excitement rolling. Reawaken your sense of adventure. Discover totally unexpected thrills. Order your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide today at TravelOK.com. We've had such a great time here today checking out Byron Burline's Double Stop Fiddle Shop and Music Hall here in Guthrie. We're standing in the Music Hall right now. They do concerts twice a month and they are fantastic, by the way. 
Speaking of which, I think it's getting close to something to eat. And you know me, I'm Italian. I like Italian food. <laughs> and right now we're going to go to Ada that's serving up some incredible Italian food. It's called Papa Giorgio's. There's an Italian proverb that says, at the table with good friends and family, you do not become old. Well, that's the feeling one gets at Papa Giorgio's in Ada. But of course, people return to the tables here because the food is outstanding, and many have been loyal customers for years. The food is wonderful. It has kept me coming back here to eat for the, for the past 18 years. It's the food. Food's great. It's not just the food. I've followed uh, George and Gay around to three locations here in Ada, and uh, yeah, the food just stays the same. No matter where you go, the food's great. The owners, George and Gay Valu, are very serious about making sure their customers always have a fun culinary experience. And one of the secrets, of course, is making sure the ingredients are fresh. Yeah, fresh. We're not frozen. All fresh we make it. All this fresh. You wait a little bit, but you got fresh. Not frozen, no microwave, no microwave. That's not. No microwave, no nothing. We've never had a microwave. Microwave. And that freshness goes for everything, especially their red sauce. Sauce we start in the morning at this eight o'clock and cook to four o'clock afternoon. The big pan. Big it's a pan. huge pan. I don't know yeah. how many quarts it has. It stands about that tall on the table if you was having yeah. it. And it cooks all day and then that cools and they divide it up and then use it for the basis for the lasagna and for any of the red that's the red sauce. Right. Now any white sauce is made to order because it's a cream and you can't make cream in advance. Right. I enjoyed watching some of the dishes with white sauce being prepared. You can see the bubbles of deliciousness signaling that all those ingredients are getting to know each other. Let's talk about their pizza dough. You got it, it's made fresh. Pizza dough is hand stretched every day. George has perfected that technique and created an art form in doing so. They make their own pizza sauce, of course, and for those watching those old calorie numbers. We also do a cauliflower pizza, which has gone over very good for the gluten folks and for the keto folks. And, uh, and then we also have a, a, lentil, uh, a lentil penne for the gluten folks. Now their top sellers are the chicken Alfredo, chicken menage aglio. Their fillets are popular and of course their pizza. The feedback we get are from people that travel a lot and the people that travel a lot, they say this is the best they've ever had. I've never had a bad meal in the past 18 years. The food and the camaraderie, but it's been uh, always, uh, to me, authentic and uh, everything's fresh and it's just uh, wonderful food. Oh my gosh, it's magnificent. Everything is fresh. Um, they just do a great job daily of bringing out the fresh foods, the mozzarella, um, couldn't ask for better. For so many though, eating at Papa Giorgio is a tradition. It's comfortable and authentic. So pull up a chair to one of their tables for a scrumptious, timeless meal with friends. We're a family restaurant and everybody's welcome. And we try to treat you like you're sitting at our table at home. Giorgio's is located at 802 East Main Street in Ada. They're open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., closed on Sundays. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A huge thank you to the folks here at Byron Burline's Double Stop Fiddle Shop and Music Hall for hosting us this week. As we mentioned, this location is open now. They've rebuilt after a devastating fire. Visit most weekdays 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and check out their website for information on live music. And coming up next week on Discover Oklahoma, we're headed to the hot new food hall in Oklahoma City. And the spot everyone's talking about in Tulsa. We check out Vista Restaurant at The Gathering Place next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Dino, I'm going to go grab a fiddle. You get ready to sing us a ditty, okay? You need to sing the diddly. I, I, nah. I,